हेलो एवरीवन, आई एम योर होस्ट आयुषी कारा सेठिया एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल पैबली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ यू कैन ऑटोमेट स्टूडेंट्स रजिस्ट्रेशन इन लर्न डैश कोर्सेस यूजिंग वर्ड प्रेस सो द आइडिया हियर इज दैट वेन एवर अ न्यू यूजर रजिस्टर्स टू योर वर्ड प्रेस अकाउंट यू वॉन्ट द सेम यूजर टू गेट एनरोल्ड इन टू अ स्पेसिफिक कोर्स इन टू योर लर्न डैश प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर दिस वी नीड टू क्रिएट अ कनेक्शन बिटवीन वर्ड प्रेस एंड लर्न डैश So in order to create a connection we are going to use a software application named Pabli Connect. So basically Pabli Connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating WordPress with Learn Dash automatically. The best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge. Even a non-technical person can use this software application very easily. So let us learn the integration process now on my screen. So welcome back to my screen. Here we are going to search for p a d b l y pavli dot com in our browser. This is the website of Pavli. Here we have to come to products and click on Pavli Connect. This is the landing page of Pavli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free option, and you can create your own account in just two minutes. And you are going to get hundred task free every month. As I already have an account with Pavli Connect, I'll simply click on sign in. Let's click on login. In the all apps section, come to Pavli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pavli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as course enrollment automation. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pavli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens. Action means do this. So in this use case, we want to automate student registration in Learn Dash courses using WordPress. So open this trigger window. Choose the application name as WordPress. Select the trigger event. as user register user registers now he, here we can see a webhook url and some instructions so let us read the instructions visit plugins add new page inside your wordpress admin area search for wp webhooks plugin in search bar install and activate the plugin navigate to left side bar settings wp webhooks and go to send data So I have already installed this WP Webhooks in my WordPress account. So I'll directly take you to my WordPress account. So this is my WordPress dashboard. Here, when we scroll down, we can find the plugins. From here, you can install the plugin, and here itself we can find the settings option. Click on settings and move to WP Webhooks. Now here we have to move to send data option. Just click on send data. and here we are going to search for the triggers so the trigger would be user created click on user created here click on add webhook url and here we have to give a name to the webhook so let us give it as automation for learn dash okay and here we have to paste the webhook url so we have to copy the webhook url from here from public connect and we will be pasting the same webhook url over here and let's click on add for create user okay and here we can see that we have created a webhook over here so let's search for the webhook okay i'll just scroll down okay and here we can see that the webhook is saved now let's move back to public connect and here we can see that it is waiting for the webhook response so in order to capture the response we have to do a test submission It means we have to create a new user in our WordPress account. For that, just come to the users option over here. Click on users and click on add new user. And here we have to give a name, a username. So let us give it as Adam Smith. Let's give the email address as Adam Smith. One two three at the rate gmail dot com. Let's add the first name as Adam, last name as Smith. and i'm just leaving the website details over here 
and I am just taking this password itself. I am not changing the password. Role as customer. Okay, if you want to change the role, you can change it. But at present, we are just creating the users. So I am just keeping the role as customer. Okay, and let's click on add new user. So webhook creates an integration between WordPress and Pabli Connect. So whenever you are going to create a new user into your WordPress account, automatically Pabli Connect is going to capture the response. Uh, Pabli Connect is going to capture the details of your user. Okay, and here we can see that a new user is created over here. So let's scroll down. And here we can find Adam Smith created as a new user. Now let's move back to public connect. And here we can see the responses received. And all the details of the user are captured over here. Okay, here we can find the name. And here we can find his email address, display name and all other details are captured. So now we want to enroll this particular user into a specific course in Learn Dash. For that, click on this action step. Choose the application name as Learn Dash. So Learn Dash is also a plugin of WordPress. Here we have to select the action event as enroll into course. Click on connect. Click on add new connection. Now it is asking for the username, password and the site URL. You have to enter your login details and click on save. As I have already created a connection, I will choose this option that is select existing connection and I will click on save. Okay, and now the Learn Dash account is connected to Pabli Connect just because I was already logged into my WordPress account. So make sure before creating a connection, you are logged into your WordPress account. Now here we have to select the specific course name in which you want to enroll the user. So I have created two courses over here that is Advanced Node.js and PHP for Beginners. So I want to enroll the user in Advanced Node.js course. So I am selecting my course name over here. And here we have to select the user ID. So I will just... Click on this mapping button and here we are going to uh, erase this data and okay it's getting loaded over here and as we have created a new user here we can find the user id that is the data id for the new user named adam smith so we are going to map this user id now okay for mapping come to here and click on wordpress and map the data id and let's click on save and send test request Okay, and here we can see the response is received. It means this particular user is added to our Learn Dash course. Let's check it. So this is my Learn Dash account. Here we have to just move to the courses section. And here we have got two courses, Advanced Node.js and PHP for Beginners. So I'll just open this course. And let's come to the settings option. And when we scroll down, so here we can find all the users list and here we can find the user list who are enrolled to advanced node.js course. And here we can see that Adam Smith is enrolled in this particular course named advanced node.js. And in this way our integration is working fine. And here we can check the details in our WordPress account also. I'll show you one more way to check it. And here we can find the details of Adam Smith. So I'm just going to uh, edit the details from here. Okay, and let's scroll down. And here we can find user enrolled in courses. And here we can see that he is enrolled in advanced Node.js course. So in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. So let's move back to Pabli Connect. And I'll just save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay, now as we have created an integration between WordPress and Learn Dash, we have set an automation next time whenever a new user registers to your WordPress account, automatically the same user will be enrolled to the specific course that you have specified over here. Okay, so let's check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not. For that, we are just moving to our WordPress account once again and I'm just going to add a new user over here. Let's give the username as Shikha Arya, email address as Arya S11 at the rate gmail.com. Let's add the first name as Shikha, last name as Arya. Let's uh, leave the website details and I'm just keeping the password as same. Role as customer and let's click on add new user. Okay, and here we can see that Shikha Arya is added 
as a new user let us find the details of the user as Shikha Arya. Let us click on search users. Okay, and here we can find Shikha Arya details. Let us check the details. And here we can find that Shikha Arya is enrolled to advanced road JS course. And let us check over here also. We have to just refresh it. And here we can see that Shikha Arya is added now. So, in this way, our integration is perfectly working fine. Let us move back to Public Connect and I will just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So, first we have created an integration between WordPress and Public Connect. Then Public Connect has captured all the details of the user whenever a new user registered to your WordPress account. And using those details of the user, automatically the same user was enrolled to a specific course in LearnDash account. And in this way, we have created a successful integration between WordPress and LearnDash using Public Connect. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Public Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Public Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also, the link of Public Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.